second part of our discussion on calculus calculus for the enthusiasts and today we speak about our own madhava of kerala madhava of sangramagama a place in kerala uh, is fortunate to be the birthplace of the person who first caught a sense of the infinite i remember one of my teachers telling me about madhava has had written a slok once and in one of his slokas he essentially wanted to say that if you divide unity one by shunya means zero then you get ananta means infinite so he was all already knocking on the doors of the infinite so he was an astronomer most mathematicians were astronomer in ancient and medieval india mathematics was viewed as a part of astronomy please understand this uh, it is not i have not collected this source or this writing from madhav or any uh, indian mathematicians book i have collected from a very interesting book called significant figures by ian stewart in which he considers madhava of, of kerala madhava look at this in you know he writes the chapter is innovator of the infinite madhava of sangramagama so he is now internationally recognized one his most famous series is writing a number in terms of its tangents so theta is equal to tan theta minus 1/3 tan theta plus 1/5 tan 5 theta look at the this plus minus alternation and look at the symmetry of the denominator and the power of the tangent how beautiful the this result is now written in terms of tan inverse this would be a the gregory series but gregory series is quite intuitive to figure out because you know integral 1 plus 1 plus x square by dx means dx by 1 plus x square that is tan inverse x that you know already we have used it in the last lecture so write 1 plus x square as 1 plus x square to the power minus 1 and then open it as a negative binomial okay and once you open that as a negative binomial and then integrate term by terms of course you can ask can i really do integrate term by term and still the uh, answer of this new integrated series would be the integral of would be still tan inverse x so for a moment assume it is then integrate it term by term and once you integrate term by term you will get actually the gregory series for tan inverse x so kerala school of astronomy and mathematics which was founded by madhava madhava's old astronomical texts survive while his mathematical works actually come down through the later commentaries of his students and his uh, fellow uh, mathematicians they have written in their work about his work about his teachings now all of these uh, people at those times who are actually essentially knocking on the door of infinity were interested in pi believe it or not pi is the root to infinity right you might think that oh it's pi is to do with the circle but that is the root to infinity and that's that makes the whole thing so pleasurable at the end so let us put theta equal to pi by 4 where tan theta is 1 at this case in the above this madhava series right or the madhava gregory series then pi by 4 is exactly this so if i put theta equal to pi by 6 right then you will immediately get this so if you have pi by when you write pi by 4 you get this you, you the it very slowly converges towards the value of pi but if you write take theta equal to pi by 6 you know your values the as you keep on increasing the add more and more terms right you add 1 by 9 minus 1 by 11 and so on so on and so forth the number of terms that you have to add to go to a good approximation of pi is much more here than compared to here this this one when you took take theta equal to pi by 6 so that improves the speed of convergence and that's that's what they were trying to do they were trying to calculate as many as decimal numbers of pi very fast and that was one of their aims because pi was coming in most many calculations especially the astronomical ones right which they 
they were trying to do. As I told you, mathematics was a part of astronomy. So I also at the same time advise you to read a book. Uh, the paperback is always available in Amazon and many other portals. Here is the book called Infinite Powers by a very famous applied mathematician from Cornell University, Steven Strogatz. As you see, I have revealed a small quote by William Dunham, who is himself a mathem great mathematics educator and a good writer of books on mathematics, that he writes that reading infinite powers, uh, I was reminded by Steven Strogatz at present, the best mathematician among writers and the best writer among mathematicians. This book is beautifully written. It, even I got a lot of concepts cleared when I wrote my, when I read this book, when I found it, oh, it's so fascinating. The way he describes how Leibniz got to the fundamental theorem of calculus is just fascinating. For the fundamental theorem of integral calculus. So his book is basically based on the infinity principle which sums up calculus. It almost would look like, look to you as if you are integrating. So with this statement of the in infinite principle, we will stop our discussion today. The infinity principle means the following, that is what Steve Strogatz says in his book. To shed light on any continuous shape, object, motion, process of phenomena, no matter how wild and complicated it may appear, reimagine it as an infinite series of smaller parts. Analyze those parts then and end the result back to make a sense of the original whole. There. But the result, when you take the original whole, to when you want to get the final result, when you have to have a view of the original whole, you have to take a limiting process. And that limiting process is an infinite limiting process. So we, when you do calculus, knowingly or unknowingly, you are knocking at the door of that mysterious thing called infinity or, or even if you want to call it the infinite, whatever you want to call it. It's a mysterious thing but very spine chilling and very interesting. So in our next talk, we will come to the very important fact, the most important thing in calculus, limit and that is to be understood carefully. Limit is a very interesting concept because anything you do in calculus ultimately becomes a limit, has to be done in a limiting sense. So this derivative and integrals are only name given to special type of limits. So we will look into those in our next uh, discussion and we will have a lot of fun. So thank you very much. I hope you liked that bit about our own mathematician astronomer, Madhava Sangra Magama. Thank you very much.